Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? So it is uh, 1.30, heading down to the facility for some work. So we've got, I've got four lessons today, and then I've got three hours of practice. So I've got a fielding lesson, then I've got a bunch of hitting lessons, and then we've got our 12U team practicing, we've got our 15U team practicing, and we've got our 16U team practicing. So I uh, got a busy day today. Um, kind of a weird day. I want your guys' opinion on this one. So my wife, uh, she had to bring her car in for an oil change, okay? So just to give you a quick background, she's got a 2013 car, okay? She's had no issues with it in six years, all right? Not a single issue. She brings the car for an oil change. They say, okay, everything looks great. But your tires look like they're getting pretty low here. We should probably get you four new tires. She goes, no, I mean, I, I got new ti four new tires not that long ago. Like, I, I, I'm good. I don't need the tires now. Oh, you sure you don't want them? No, nope, I don't want them. We're good. We'll be fine. Okay, sure. Great. Perfect. So she goes to pick up the car. She grabs it. She drives. And she notices a sound. Okay, she doesn't tell me this, though. This was uh, two days ago. So then yesterday, I get in her car to drive it, and I'm driving, and I'm like, I'm like what? what's that sound? Why is it so loud right now? And she goes, I know, I, th I heard it yesterday when I picked the car from the dealership after they changed my oil. And it's just loud, it sounds like a jet engine out there. I'm like, this is brutal. Like, it was loud enough that it was kind of driving me crazy as we were driving. So she calls them up and says, you know, something's wrong with my, my uh, Something's wrong with something in my car. It's making a loud noise. So they say, okay, bring it down. So she brings it down, all right? And the guy comes over and he goes over to the front tire and he goes, and this is before she's really ever, she didn't even know it was a tire. She didn't know what it was. But the guy like immediately goes over to the left front tire and he goes, oh yeah, he goes, ball bearing, I don't even, I know nothing about cars, but the ball bearing or something on this tire is gone. We got to replace it. And she's like, what? She's like, I was just in here, and the car was perfect. And she, he's like, no, nah, the ball bearing over here, it's going to cost $700. And she goes, how did you know that? She's like, I didn't even tell you really anything. How did you go right over to the tire and say that something's wrong with the ball? How did you know that? He's like, oh, I was checking the tread on the tire, and I noticed that, you know, after looking at it, that, yeah, it's definitely the ball bearing. I keep saying ball bearing. I think that's what it's called. I really don't know. Now, this, is a, this was the same guy that saw her two days prior when she brought the car in to get the oil change and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little weird that the car has never had an issue ever. Never had one single issue. Then she goes in for an oil change, and what do you know? The second the car comes out of the shop, the tire's making the loudest sound in the world, or something's making the loudest sound in the world, and now we have to put $700 towards the ball, new ball bearing or whatever. Then they said, well... Since we're fixing this one, do you want us to fix all four for twenty eight hundred? No, we don't want that. So we just did the one, the one ball bearing. So I don't know. I'm not accusing the Audi guy or or the dealership or anything of of uh, you know taking a hammer and whacking the crap out of the tire to, to make us come back in and, and have to get something fixed. I just find it kind of strange that we never had a single issue, and then when we bring the car in, the second we drive it off the lot. There's something going on with it. So, what's your opinion of that? I'm not really sure, but um, 700 bucks down the drain pretty quickly. So, all right, heading down the facility. Yeah, and feel less of that and more when you get it. Elbows out and just bring it in. So, you're not just flicking it up, flipping it up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Soft. Bring it right to the middle. Elbows out. Stay under it. Stay under it. Stay down there. Back flat. Keep it flat. Go flamingo on the right foot, try to time it up with the left foot hitting as you field it, but play low. Try to get underneath the ball. Yep, on this one, bend that knee even a bit more. As you as you start to lower yourself, so right, so you're like this. As you start to lower, don't make sure you don't just go at the waist. I'm here, I start to lower, and then I'm here. So my knees are bent, so my back flat too. Yeah. Get as low as you possibly can. Try to get your eyes and nose 
literally behind, almost right behind the ball. When you field it, field it as your funnel leg, go right to left off the target throw. Okay. So just right left arm. Ready? Get out low, get rid of it. Yeah. Feel two more of those. All right, bend your knees, get down low, get rid of it. Yeah, even a smidge bit lower. Get down there. Bend your knees. That's it. So you're gonna start right about there. You're gonna sprint big, big strides to then when you start getting close to my hat, you go small strides to right foot, basically right off my hat. Right. When you brace this right foot, you gotta feel like you sink, not up here, then you're gonna play high. Yeah. So I go right, I brace, and now I time it up. When the ball comes, I time my left foot up. So play under as much as you can. Ready, go. Big, small, brace. Yep, keep playing low. Playing under, 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 under. Over there. Come get it, cut it off. Juice. Rockets. Quick pick. Oh! 
Right here, if you're on deck on this time, you gotta get him loose. If you're on deck for this tunnel, this is gonna be the on deck circle. If you're on deck for that tunnel, it's gonna be right where Gibbsy is, just a little bit over, okay? So I want you guys to start thinking about getting in here. I'm trying to get my timing down, okay? So I'm getting, I'm putting myself pretty much up at the plate. I'm watching the pitcher, right? There he is. And I'm thinking, when am I gonna get myself loaded so that I can be on time? Everyone got it? When do I gotta get my foot up so that I'm down and ready to hit? Cool? All right? Let's not just waste our time on the on deck circle. Oh no! <laughs> Check swing back to the pitcher. Are you early on everything? Yeah, you gotta think. You gotta almost think like you're gonna drive the ball to the right center field so that you're not so. You looked early over there when I watched you, then you look early here. Foul ball! Ha! All right, next ball that's shot in, we got 50 push ups after practice. All right? Last shot, next shot. Ha! Okay, we're gonna start a game now. So this is what I want in a second. We're gonna have the pitchers throwing, live hitters hitting, the tunnel, the machine will always be going, so make sure someone's in there. There's T here and a T here. For anyone else that wants to keep hitting, you can hit this way and that way. Over here is the on-deck circle for this game right here. Over there is the on-deck circle for that game. Now, no swinging in the on-deck circle, but I want you in the on-deck circle, and I want you facing the pitcher and getting your timing down. Thinking about when am I gonna get myself started so that I'm ready to hit, so I'm down and ready to hit. Everyone got it? And if you're not in any of those and you're back there, I want you to think like you're in the hole in a real game. So you're gonna be sitting there, you're gonna be watching the pitcher, whoever you're facing. If Willie's hitting, he's third up, He's watching Joe and he's saying, okay, what is this guy throwing to a right-handed hitter? What's his ball look like? What's he throwing first pitch? What's he trying to get guys out with? So I want you to start thinking like you're in the game. Because when the game starts, I want you to do that when you're on, not on deck, you're getting timing down. When you're in the hole, you're watching the pitcher and you're thinking about that type of stuff. How's he getting guys out, okay? Oh. Well, I gotta edit that out now. <laughs> Jesus, put a little pressure on them and they crumble. Let's go. Hey. Three count. Don't blow it. Ha.